everybody and welcome back to AGP. We are back. Let's see what living off the land has to give to us. We're back again with another tip. Now listen for all you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt, which we've seen that already. But uh, yesterday, we started the game. We got some crops planted. We got extremely lucky with a fr crop fairy. So we've already got some, oh, some of our crops already been done. We got some new ones down. We started fishing for the first time. And that is going to be the main focus of today. Is I want to try to catch all the rest of the fish that we need. Because we still have a fish in the river called the sunfish that we need to get. I wasn't looking for mail. So we still need to get that sunfish. We still need to go up to the mountain area. We need a largemouth bass, a carp, the chat, and the bullhead. We'll need to go down into the secret area and catch one of the fish in that little pond there. And then there's still a few fish like the flounder and I think there's the flounder and the anchovy that we still need from the ocean. So I want to try to get the fish caught as quickly as possible today. But right now I'm just looking to see if I can find any more seeds anywhere. Just so I can uh, make some nummy nummies for energy. Doesn't look like there's any more anywhere. But we do have two more things that we could plant. So we're going to plant those real quickly. Oh, So let's craft one energy bar. Splash splash and we're gonna take the hoe with us just in case we come across any worms oh we need a flower because we need to start shmoohooving my girl man caroline is the first person i highly recommend schmoozing she gives you access to the greenhouse once you get two hearts with her with those two hearts and access to her greenhouse then she sends you a recipe for tea saplings and that is the best way for money. So I am very, very diligent on making sure that... Sweet Caroline. Ba -down, ba -down, ba -down. Oh goodness, are you sure? Hmm, I wonder if I could get Pierre to cook tonight. Do you really want him to? So I focus on her because we're already at one heart with her. Oh, and with gift giving, you're allowed two gifts a week. You can talk to everybody every day. But two gifts a week. Three if they have a birthday. Alright, so now we're going to run down and we're going to go to Clint real quickly. Ugh, Mayor Lewis, you're in my way. Because I want to go ahead and get this geode. So these geodes, you run them over to Clint. Clint will break them open for you for 25 Gs. And this is a great way to get the artifacts that you will need. See, artifact. And if you hover over it, it will tell you... Gunther could tell you more about this, so it'll tell you if you need to donate it. Okay, bye. That's all I wanted to do. Alright, and I'm going to head up to the mountain area. Bam. And we're going to actually know, you know what we should do first? Oops, since we're here, we should totally start fishing for that sunfish because it's the last river fish we need. And then we'll head up to the mountains and try to catch the fish there that we need. Well, that was easy. Caught that sunfish. Let's go. We'll go fishing right here because anywhere else and I'm going to have to listen to somebody banging on a rock. Okay, so I'd like to get two bullheads, a carp, two chads. Well, there's one bullhead. And three largemouth basses if possible. Because I know there's an event where Jody's going to ask for a largemouth bass and we need one for a bundle and I want to back up. The bullheads, we need one for a bundle and a backup. The carp, again, we're going to need one for a bundle and a backup. And then, or not the carp, the chad. And then the carp, I just need one. There's the carp. Come here. Another bullhead. That's acting like a carp. Chest, I want it. Don't let me lose the fish. Don't let me lose the fish. Okay, well, we're full. 
We're going to head back to the uh, house real quickly. Alright, so we're going to make this chest. We're going to put it here. I'm going to make it be. I'm going to start putting all my fish in here. I have till 7 to catch the largemouth bass. And it's the only one out of there that I haven't caught yet. We'll say hi to Demetrius because he's right here. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it's so peaceful working outdoors all day long. Oh, treasure chest. Thank you. Ooh. Nice. I could plant these. And I've got iron. That's impressive. That was a good chest. I think this might be a Chad. It is. Or the Chub. I don't know why I called it a Chad. It's a Chub. Derp. I knew what I meant when I said it. And we're done. I've already talked to you today, Lewis. Hmm. Do you want something from me? Nope. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the house. Put my stuff away. And then I want to I wanna plant those rice shoots. We are going to take one of those iron ores and sell it, though. Because, again, perfection requires that you do that. Alright, so I am going to have to clear out these trees to plant the rice shoots. So what's really cool about rice shoots is that I'm not going to have to water them. As long as they're planted next to water, they will be watered. I have eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I should all be close enough. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, yeah, let's go, boy. And I think I want to clean up the farm just a little bit. Do I have, oh, I've got fishing level three. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to eat my bar. Because I don't want to go to bed yet. I still have plenty of time. So I'll just bring you guys back when I'm done cleaning up my farm. Oh, just found another geode. <clears throat> and it is starting to get late. And now we're going to go to bed while we still have time. Yay! And because I got that level up, I'll have full energy so I didn't have to worry about that. Level 3 fishing. We got a crab pot and dish of the sea. We got level 2 foraging, which is nice. We didn't really make any money. Oh, no, we did make money because... Oh, yeah! Yeah! So, I had to sell a coal and an iron ore for the perfection. So, that's not something that you would normally sell. But look at the fish. The bullheads were 112 Gs a piece and the carp were 45 Gs a piece. I mean, that's pretty good. Now, I don't have to worry about Caroline today. Because I've already gifted her out. Oh! Oh! Oh, I get a kitty! I get a kitty! Hello, Amanda. Hi, Marnie. You see this cat here? Yes, I do. Meow. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes, I do. Give me kitty. Yes, I will adopt the cat. And his name is going to be Tig. That's my boy. My little Tig, you be a good kitty now, okay? I named him after my son who passed away a few Thanksgivings ago. I miss my boy. All right, well, let's grab these. Check my mail. I've got some new items of socks, a deluxe fishing pole, and, a, and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. I hope to see you soon, Willie. Thank you, Willie. Me sell hats, okay? Poke, come to old, old house. Poke, bring coins out, hat mouse. We'll take a look at that later. Keep finding cool stuff in my backpack, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's Journal Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. And, oh, the mines are open today. I'd like to apologize for joking about Grandpa's house. That is fine and dandy. Now, will that give me my farming level? Yes. So, we're going to the mines today. We're going to do a quick run of the farm to see if anything washed up. 
to see if we can find any seeds. Okay, I see a seed over here. Oh, it's Friday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have something very extremely important we have to do. We have to do this every Friday and every Sunday. This must be done every Friday and Sunday. This gorgeous lady with a pig comes by, the traveling cart. And this is so important to do. Because she sells stuff that you can't get. Like the rare seed. You're going to need to buy that. But there is... We haven't done bundles yet, but that's about to be unlocked. You're about to learn about bundles. And with the bundles, you have to... One of the bundles requires something called a red cabbage. And that is a year two crop. I would actually like to get this done in year one if I could finish the community center. So I need to be on the lookout with her for red cabbage seeds or red cabbage itself. So that's going to be one of my main focuses. Oh, I can make one more. Cool. Well, at least I'll have two. But I will be needing a chest. And now we're going to smooth her over. All right. So after 9 o'clock on a nice sunny day on the 5th, if it's not going to be sunny on your 5th day of the week, of your first week, your very first sunny day that comes up after the 5th becomes a huge decision within Stardew Valley. Oh, hi there. Hi, Mary Lewis. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Um. Your community's kind of half and half. You have just as many older people as you do young people. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Jo Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so that so they could turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town can use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh, well. Dude, I kind of get that with you. You know, I... Even though my granny's old house was like in like this really bad neighborhood, I really kind of wanted to keep it within the family. I understand having to lose it, and now it just looks like trash. Even though the place creeped me out, it was haunted and had spiders, and the basement was really creepy with like the low, the low ceiling basements that had like the beams instead of like a solid roof. But it was still nostalgic, and it's okay. It, it it's part of who you are. If anyone else buys a Georgia Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Now, here's the thing. This is where you make your decision. You can either rebuild the community center or you could go the Georgia Cola route. You can walk into Georgia Cola, buy a membership, and everything that I'm going to be doing for bundles, you could just pay cash for. I'm going to go the community center route because I like I want to do the whole small town the way the game kind of supposed to be played type thing. So I am going to do the community center. I'm not going to go the Jojo Cola route. Besides, to me it doesn't make any sense to go I mean go to Jojo Cola route cuz didn't I just leave them calling them basically bastards cuz they were making my life miserable work work work. So why would I go to the evil corporation? Ah, <sighs> here let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. With the door locked, okay. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Squishy! We'll get the squishy apple. What? Um, 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 what's the matter? Are you ill? Rude! No, there was a squishy here. Dude, you gotta believe me, alright? Trust me. Trust me, there was a... You saw something? I wouldn't be surprised if this place was... It was not a rat. It was a squishy. See, he's right there. Little squishy apple. Dude, get some glasses. 
You're worrying me, Amanda. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Okay. Hey, I'll keep this place on lock from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. It wasn't a rat. It was a squishy. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further, which I'm going to do right the flick now. And hi, squishy. Totally got that. Completely understood it. It did take me a little further away than where I wanted to go because I do need to go see Clint and I need to go see Gunther. Oh, and we have a request. A catfish for Shane. That ain't happening, buddy. Oh, thank you. I'm going to need that. Thought you said you needed to go get lunch. You're gardening. Liar. All right, quickly, 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 because I want to get to the mines as quickly as I possibly can. Clay, I need that. I don't need that. Matter of fact, bro, shop, sell. Thank you, bye. Hello, donate. You can have this, and you can have this. And you can have this. And I get a reward. Give it to me, baby. Thank you. I gotta go. Ooh, cauliflower. Perfect. I'll say hi to you real quickly. Hey, how's it going? Please don't destroy my tent. It's happened before. It wasn't me, and I wouldn't do something like that. I'm not an asshole. Hmm. Hello. I'm here now. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Do 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 do! I am Legend of Zelda. Call me Link. You received a rusty sword. Booyah! Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay. And here comes a very extensive part of the game, mining, which needs to be done. So this is why we made the chest, so I could drop stuff off, so I have as much room as I possibly can have, so I could get through the mine. It's kind of basic, simple. Break rocks, find ladder, get down. Look for ore, fight monsters. There is 120 levels in the mine, and this is not a good luck day for me. Okay. This is definitely not going to be a good luck day for me, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to go around to get you. You do want to try to kill as many of the creatures as you can first. Before you start looking for a ladder, because it increases your chance. And sometimes when you kill the creatures, you could get a ladder out of them. But this is where you're going to get your ore, your copper, your, your iron, gold. So the further down you go, the better your chances are of finding certain ores. And you do need to be careful. You've got to worry about your health. You've got to worry about time. You've got to worry about your energy. It's all factored. Okay, cool. So there's already a ladder on this level. That's good. And I do highly meant recommend breaking crates you know what, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna eat this real quickly bam because i'd rather have that carrot there's already a ladder there's some ore over here i want to grab Ooh. no i could get rid of that for that i want those oh i left a piece of ore up here no 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 i need that and then every five levels you could go back up to the top and drop everything off head back down and keep on going. Come here, you little slimy slime. So I am going to try to get to at least level 10. Oh, that was good. Ah. Uh, oh, there's a special slime here, though. See that one with the little star on top of his head? That's a special slime. Please. Don't drop it in the wall okay cool it didn't drop it in the wall cool i'll take those boots 
Thank you. Plus one immunity. They could drop rings like glow rings and magnet rings, boots, swords. So they are definitely good to find. So on infested levels like this, you have to kill every creature for the way to down to appear. Reach level 40 in the mines. Oh, nice. It dropped me one right here. I am going to get rid of this slime because I do want that. <gasps> okay. So we're going to drop. No. Drop. Okay. Let's try this again. Thank you. And then put the glow ring on and grab that back. Nice. Let's eat a little bit. I don't have to kill all these guys. I really don't because I already see the ladder. But I kind of want to go ahead and kill them all as much as I can. Because one of the things for perfection is going to be slaying monsters. Oh, well, the wood's got to go. I need that. Please just die. Please just die. Die, 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 die. Alright. And then we're going to hit this ladder. That can stay there. I'll get it when I come back. It's a little late. So we're going to grab what we can. And we're going to try to get home. And if I can, we'll get back. Did I get a level up? Let's find out if I got a level up. I did. I got mining level up. So... I can do this, I think. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to sell one of those and one of these. All of this can go in here so I can run back and grab the rest of the stuff. Yeah, I have time. Since I have the energy, well, no, I don't have the energy, but I have the um, level up. Even if I lose any energy, I will get it back here in a little bit. Okay, so first thing I want to do now that I'm back with all of my stuff, I have a little bit of time. I'm going to put the watering on there and then I'm going to sell this other one. I need to sell one of the slimes, and then I want to preset myself up for tomorrow. So I need this, 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 and this. Slime can go here. We're going to need the coal, wood, and fiber. Oh, and I need the sap. Perfect. Now we can go to bed, and in the morning, because I got that farming level, I'm going to be able to do a couple of things, which is going to be nice. There's my level one farming. So now I'm going to be able to make the scarecrow and the fertilizers, which is why I have not planted any of my other crops yet. Is because I wanted that fertilizer because it's going to give me a better chance to get the gold crops that I want. We didn't make a lot of money. That's fine. Again, we sold this stuff just because, well, not the basic retaining soil, but the slime and the bug meat we sold just because we needed to for perfection and that one piece of copper ore. But on that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that has been a video. Of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to help out the channel, don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, and of course, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!